parts of a flower. Use the following video to label the parts of the flower on your worksheet. Label the male parts of the flower. It's called the stamen. The top of it is called the anther and the bottom part is the filament. Remember, men, stamen is male part. The female part of the flower is called the pistil and it's made up of four parts. It's got the stigma at the top, the style in the middle, and the ovary on the bottom, which holds the ovules. Use this picture to label the receptacle, the sepal, and the petals. Label the pollen and the pollen tube. Use this picture to locate the pedicle, also known as the stem. Use the following slides to add the function to each part of the flower in your notebooks. Create a table like the one on the board. Petals attract insects for pollination, which is usually why they're colorful. The pistil is the female part of the flower, and it has three parts, the stigma, the style, and the ovary, which has the ovules inside. The stigma is the top of the pistil and is sticky to catch the pollen during pollination. The style helps to hold up the stigma. It has the pollen tube inside. The ovary contains the ovules, which become fertilized during sexual reproduction. The ovary will then become the fruit. The ovules are tiny little eggs in the ovary that become fertilized by the pollen and later become the seeds of the fruit. The stamen, the male part of the flower, has two parts, the anther and the filament. The anther is the top part of the stamen, and that's where pollen is produced. The filament is what holds up the anther. That's the bottom part of the stamen. Pollen grains are the sperm cells that are carried by the insects, like bees, to begin pollination. The pollen tube transports the pollen from the stigma down through the style, down to the ovary to meet the ovules to begin fertilization. The receptacle helps to support the flower. The pedicle, also known as the stalk or the stem, helps to hold the flower up high. The sepal helps to protect the flower while it's budding or while it's opening. Now that you have all the parts of the flower and their function, get a stamp from your teacher and fill out the back part of your worksheet.